Hello everyone, Counselor Hater here, back with another EHI. Before we get into today's video, I have an important announcement uh, to make. My school is doing a uh, fundraiser uh, to fight against childhood cancer. And uh, so, and it's called the Million Mile 2022. Uh, now this isn't like the direct link that I was originally going to give, but still, the, you can still don donate through this link that I'll be giving you. Uh, it's Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation for Childhood Cancer. Um, there's like details about it, childhood cancer, where the money goes, special events, ways to give, get involved, and of course donation. Run, walk, or cycle this September during Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. September 1st, 2022 to September 30th, 2022 uh, is what is going on. The 10th annual Million Mile is a month-long challenge that funds researchers so they can find better treatments and more cures for childhood cancer. So you can register now, explore teams. Uh, we are have 1,487 teams and 11,542 participants and have raised a total of 1,461,703 and have raised 1,461,703 uh, walked, biked, cycled, uh, traveled in general uh, on foot or on bicycle 402,118 miles and their goal is 1 million miles. Uh, there are steps to like register as you can see and then again inspired by hero stories motivated to move with our calendar of events and more visit the inspiration page preparation for the million mile how does it work uh push uh q a how to log miles view all 22 2022 20, teams amplify your fundraiser make an impact during the million mile ideas ideas for reaching your goals get your business you can get your business involved so if you're a big business Visual half slash full marathon, uh, 9, 24, 2022. Obviously, you click here to get more details. Don't mind that. Special programs and sponsorship for the Million Mile. Recognition program, sponsors, become a sponsor. Uh, so there's a lot of ways you can help. So I'll have the link, and I'll be also enlisting the help of others. Uh, for other like really big YouTubers that you may know about uh, to get this as widespread as possible. And I'll be enlisting the help of you because uh, as a Boy Scout, it's my civic duty to help others out. And uh, we, some, and, uh, but sometimes there are like these, uh, there are situations like these where it takes a lot, there, where it takes community and not a single person. And that is perfectly okay, which is why I'm missing the help of you along with many of the people. So the way you can help is you can copy this link uh, that I'll have in, in the description. Uh, and uh, that will take, uh, that when clicked will take you, will take uh, the browser or user of that link directly to the website shown here if it will load. Thank you will take you to this website um, and get spread this word by any means necessary, where it's sharing this video or sharing the link, or like uh, tweeting it, or like, so like Twitter, Discord, Reddit, uh, uh, social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, anything uh, will help make sure this information spreads like wildfire and i'm going to get this video out as soon as possible so that so this trainer is going to be very fast so with that out of the way let's get to it commissar Sever, severna rain is a white black tokens combat deck uh that you'd be building because whenever this creature attacks each one loses x life works the number of attacks of other attacking creatures. So we have Darien, King of Kajeldor, to create a bunch of tokens when we are dealt damage. Hero of Bladehold to buff up our entire 
army with battle cry and to create more and more tokens as we attack throughout the turns. Object master tactician uh, to decide how uh, creatures block this combat and how those uh, to choose which creatures block this combat and how those creatures block so we can choose for no creatures to block at all. Vote invocation to create a bunch of angels. Fallacy reverend medium to give us some spirits. Tesa Karlov to give our creature tokens vigilance and lifelink and double up on death triggers. Tesa envoy of ghosts to destroy uh, creatures that deal combat damage, damage to us uh, and create one ones with flying in the process. Necromancer's covenant uh, for graveyard hate. So this is a hardcore counter to like Golgari uh, mill decks and stuff and gives our zombies we control lifelink. Entrapment maneuver can give it like a big creature that could uh, mean like lethal damage to us and creates a bunch of uh, small creatures in the process of getting rid of that uh, big attacking creature. And Amazon Procession to double up on our token creation. Highly recommend that card. Nomads Assembly uh, to get a bunch of 1 1s. And because it says rebound, it'll be done twice over. Divine invo Invocation. Now instead of creating like uh, some like one ones or something, we're now creating four fours with flying vigilant and vigilance. Ogre Slumlord to create one one uh, black rat creature tokens and to give rats with control death touch uh, whenever another non token creature dies, whether it's ours or our opponents. Grave Titan, not the best, but when there's battlefield, we can create two, two, two black zone creature tokens. And when this attacks, we do the same thing. Um, and we want to be attacking, so might as well have Grave Titan attacking, Chris creating us more tokens. Twilight Drover can help us uh, recover if like a lot of our tokens just end up dying in turn. Because whenever creature, creature token leaves the battlefield, whether that's ours or our opponents, we put a plus one plus counter on Twilight Drover, in which case we can remove that those counters or just uh, one, depending on how many twi Twilight Drover has, uh, to create a bunch of 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Crowd and Crypt, um, as more and more creatures die, creatures we control die, we, have more, we get to put more and more corpse counters onto Crowd and Crypt uh, and eventually sacrifice it for double black and four generic to create a whole bunch of two, two black zombie creature tokens with decayed. Until then, Crowded Crypt is a mana rock for three mana. Curse of the Restless Dead, what we can do is we can attach, uh, is we can enchant ourselves. Uh, uh, so that every time we play land, we create a two, two black zombie creature token with decayed. Or as a hardcore counter to landfall decks, we can give Curse of the Restless Dead to one of our opponents if they are playing landfall. So in which case we'll be getting a lot more zombies. Cool caller Gisa. We have a big creature out and it's not really doing anything. We can we can sacrifice it to Ghoul Caller here to give us a bunch of zombies. Home of the host uh, can create more tokens that are copies of our commander. So our opponents are gonna be losing more and more life as we attack each combat. Moving on, the last up can get rid of something annoying or take off a little bit of damage. Hermias 2 can get us something back that we need. That's a creature, of course. Hermias 7 is really why she's in here because we can emblem with the beginning of your end step, create a number of 2 2 black zombie creature tokens, uh, where X is 2 plus the number of zombies you control. X, create X 2 2 black zombie creature tokens. You get the idea. We're going to be creating a lot. Rise of the Dreadmarn is for recovery after a board wipe. Wingmate Rock uh, is to help keep us alive because it, whenever it attacks, we gain one life for each attacking creature. Exquisite Blood, and before you ask, yes, we have the Sanguine Bond Exquisite Blood combo. We also have the uh, Veto Thorn of the Dusk Rose combo. So whenever opponent loses life, we gain that much life, and with Sanguine Bond, it's the opposite. So whenever we gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Vital Thor of the Dusk Rose does the same thing as Sanguine Bond, except it can also give creatures we control life link until in turn. Blind Obedience 
has extort. So as we cast more and more spells, we can pay like an additional white or black. And then each opponent loses one life and we gain that much life. And artifacts and creatures are opponents of control and the battlefield tapped, leaving them more vulnerable to uh to our attackers, our tokens, our army, whatever you want to call it. Nykthos, Paragon. So whenever we gain life, we may put that many plus plus accounts on each creature you control on each creature we control. And then however, we only do this once each turn. So by the time it comes back around to us, all of our creatures could have like four plus plus counters on, on them. Uh, and it could be lethal. Depends on how many we have, which hopefully we have a lot. Otherwise, that would be disappointing for this type of deck. Because Black White token, Tokens is meant to have an army after all. Daxos Blessed by the Sun. Um, can be a big blocker if we have a lot of devotion to white. However, it's in here really to help us gain life whenever another creature with control enters the battlefield or dies. Nadir, Ancient of the Duskin, Duskin Nell, uh, gets bigger and bigger as more tokens leave on as more tokens that we control leave the battlefield. And when Nadir himself leaves the battlefield, we create a number of 1 1 green elf warrior creature tokens equal to his power. Archangel of Thune. Uh, as we gain more life, we put more plus plus counters on each creature we control. Wound Reflection could just be fatal uh, because at the beginning of each end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life they lost this turn. So we attack with our commander, they lose life equal to them. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of attacking of other attacking creatures. Then Wound Reflection triggers and they lose that much more life uh, along with all the other life they have lost. Uh, due to uh, other types of damage and or uh, life loss triggers we have. But sure if Malik here can really just sort, shorten down someone's support state or like get rid of like our all of our creatures entirely because whenever Butcher of Malik here or another creature we control dies, each one has to sacrifice a creature so that makes it easier on us. And Media Hook Massacre is a great board wipe in that case, uh, especially combined with uh, Butcher of Malik here can be really one-sided depending on like what we have because we can pump a bunch of X into this and then each creature gets minus X minus X in the turn whenever the meat hook, mass the meat hook massacre enters the battlefield and whenever a creature we control dies, each opponent loses one life and whenever a creature opponent controls dies, we gain one life. So it helps us stand the game and slowly but surely or quickly in some cases kill our opponents. Great fact. Same uh, same thing as Butcher of Malik here, except it's an enchantment and not a creature, and it's much cheaper. Archangel of Ties could decide the game entirely, decides whether we die or opponents suffer defeat, because uh, they are now taxed in order to attack us and to block us, uh, not on Twitter. Cru Cruel Celebrant uh, is an aristocrat effect, uh, just like a Blood Artist. Belinda, the Dusk Rose, gets bigger and bigger as more and more creatures die and has lifelinks so it can help us stay in the game. And when Belinda dies, we'll be able to create hopefully a bunch of tokens with lifelink. Calculating Ledge could decide uh, someone's fate right away because whenever a creature attacks one of your opponents, that player loses one life. Doesn't matter if it's our creatures or if it's our opponent's creatures attacking one of our opponents. If one of our opponents is getting attacked, uh, then that player is losing one life uh, for each creature that attacks them. Zolport, Cutthroat, same thing as uh, Cruel Celebrant. Uh, it's a blood artist, essentially. Hissing Miasma is uh, sort of a Revenge of Ravens effect, except we don't gain life whenever we are attacked. Baleful Omen can really shorten our opponent's life, life totals. Uh, throughout the turns, depending on how lucky we are. Mind Crank uh, can seal our opponent's doom because when I have an opponent lose life, that player mills that many cards, which means that is all the less cards they have to use against us, hopefully, uh, if they're not uh, playing a green-black deck. Uh, 
at least in which case if they are, then that could be more trouble for us and, and them winning the game. But we have Archfiend of Despair in here, so if we are able to cast Archfiend of Despair at that point, our opponents are pretty much gone because they can't gain life. And the beginning of each end set, each opponent loses life equal to the life that player lost this turn. Total of the God Pharaoh uh, causes each of our opponents to lose life equal to the number of tactical creatures we control at the beginning of our end step, which is perfect for us because we want to be attacking in this deck. Blood Reckoning is another Revenge of Ravens effect. Like I said, we don't have the life gain out of it. However, we have Revenge of Ravens itself, so we will have life gain out of it. Then we have Campaign of Vengeance, which is quite the opposite, because now whenever a creature we control attacks, defending player loses one life and we gain one life. Then we have Corpse Knight. Uh, that's a uh, that's kind of a uh, blood, a blood artist effect, except it's for one of another creature is probably under our control, and we don't gain life. It's just our opponent's losing life, but that's going all according to our plan. And then we have True Conviction. Give all of our creatures double strike and lifelink. Uh, help us stay in the game and probably kill all of our opponents. Isolated Watchtower can help us stay ahead in mana. Windbris Kites is just an easy free card in this deck. And we've got 24 basic planes cards and 24 basic swamps. And with that said, at the end of this commander, starring Commissar Severna Rain. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll have that donation link in the description. Uh, for the Million Mile 2022, I will show you again. Uh, the Million Mile 2022 for uh, from Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation for Childhood Cancer. Get involved, ways, ways to give, donate, about ALSF, Childhood Cancer, where the money goes, special events, register now, explore teams. Uh, which prepare for the Million Mile make an impact during the million mile, special programs and sponsorship for the million mile, it's all here and you can, which means you can help out in a lot of ways to help fight against childhood cancer. And make sure this link that I put in the description spreads like wildfire through any means, whether that's TikTok, uh, Discord, Reddit, Instagram, social media, Snapchat, YouTube, any anything just anything at all will help uh to get this thing spread like wildfire uh put the put the uh link into like uh maybe a maybe include the link uh in a comment you may make uh in, on like one of your favorite youtubers um i'm that's how i'm going to enlist the help of like a bunch of people is to just uh comment on videos on of uh, really popular and uh, big YouTubers um, with like a, a large amount of subscribers uh, to help donate to uh, ASLF, well, to help donate and fight against childhood cancer. Because uh, as a Boy Scout, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it is my civic duty, civic duty to help these people out. Uh, and what kind of scout am I if I am not helpful? With that said, please leave a like and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed this video, which hopefully you did. And uh, comment on this video. Make an EDH request. So make sure the commander that you want to see featured on this channel isn't already featured on this channel. Uh, if it has, but you haven't seen like a specific style of it, um, so like Rambles and Jammins, we have not has not been featured on this channel. You can make an EDH request for that. Um, you can also make a request for standard decks. I'll try and get to that. Um, like feature a card list or like improve, uh, whatever. Just know that those requests in the comments are first come first serve. Uh, but even if you don't want to make a request of some kind, just uh, leave feedback anyways. I like positive feedback from you guys. It really means something to me. It shows that you care and are willing to support. Uh, it's 
speaking of support, I cannot stress enough. Go donate, please. Uh, help out those who are fighting childhood cancer and overcome it. Um, oh, and hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss another one of my videos. And share this video uh, along with other videos on my YouTube channel with other people, especially this one. This one is a priority to share because of what we're what we are doing. Um, with that said, I will see you tomorrow. Go donate and goodbye.